The news that extra ships and planes have been diverted to border protection duties shows more clearly than anything they might argue to the contrary that Labor's decision to abolish temporary protection visas has told people smugglers that the back door to Australia has once again been left open. Here is the Navy's Vice Admiral David Johnson at Senate Estimates last night. I won't specify the nature of the surge because it is uh, responding to the circumstance that the Commander of Southern Borders has asked us for, but it is of the nature of additional aircraft surveillance, uh, additional ships that are patrolling in our northern waters. Now, over the weekend, as soon as I saw those targeted messages go out, I knew that Labor knew that they were playing with fire on our border. Let me be clear. Anyone who attempts an unauthorised boat voyage to Australia will be turned back to their country of departure, returned to their home country or transferred to a regional processing country. If you attempt an illegal maritime journey, you will not settle in Australia. Messages were bad enough, but then to put the Navy on notice and send them north says it all. No government shifts around millions of dollars in military resources without clear intelligence the risk is there. So clearly the PM and his National Security Committee are worried with reason that what was stopped under the coalition is at risk of starting up again, yet again, under them. The government now says that they've scrapped TPVs and allowed 19,000 illegal boat arrivals to stay in Australia and, of course, bring their families as well because of compassion. But knowing that more boats would come, which clearly they did, otherwise why the surge in naval support, why those ads, well, that isn't compassion. It's putting desperate people back in boats and more lives on the line. And you want to know what really drove this U-turn from Labor? Because it surely wasn't compassion, was it? Well, it was naked political self-interest. That's what it was. You see, Labor is fighting for its life in inner city Greens seats, seats where they're under challenge from the hard left. Look at Brisbane, as an example, at the last election. Look at the Prime Minister's own seat of Grandler in Sydney. So giving in on borders is about trying to stop the bleed of Labor votes to the Greens and nothing at all about humanitarian compassion. Indeed, it's a willingness to sacrifice the national interest for a cheap political win. The former coalition government had achieved something remarkable. It did something unique around the world. It had stopped a flow of illegal arrivals by boat, something no other country has managed, yet we've done it twice now under the coalition. But now the Albanese government has knowingly put this all at risk. At the last election, Australians didn't vote to change the country. They just voted to change the Prime Minister. And they certainly didn't vote to change the border protection policies that worked. 